Today we are going to be giving you a layout update. We're going to be showing some of the building work that's been taking place, but very slowly. And talking about some of the proposed changes to the track work here at Barnabas Junction Station. So, let's get you up and about. First of all, just to let you know, this layout update is now being filmed with a new camera. I have updated, not updated, I've changed to new camera. We're now an Android user. Previously we were using an iPhone camera to do the filming. So hopefully there will be some improvements in the filming from previous updates. So first of all, I will take you over to here. For those of you who have seen the previous layout update, and if not, I'll post a link up the top for you right now. You will have seen that this area was in progress of alterations and improvements. And I have been busy making progress on those changes and improvements, alterations. So let's take you for a look. All the top area now has been fully restored and repaired from the damage that was caused in the heat, uh, just in that area there. It's all been freshly painted using black acrylic paint. And then we, I have begun with putting in the pavements up the ramp, as you can see. There they are, from the bottom up to the top of the ramp. And on the right hand side there, I have continued it all the way along to the level crossing, just there. I've yet to do the other side as I'm not desired there. I've not exactly worked out where they're going to be as I have been doing some scratch building and I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Um, this post here I'm planning to try and make it disappear as it is rather annoying here in the loft uh, stuck in the middle of the layout. There are four of them, one in each corner. This one obviously being where it is right now. It's not very big, um, it's about a foot high. So I thought about some ideas of trying to cover it up or trying to make it blend into the layout or the back area. And I came up with the idea original from an original purchase that I had. And this is it in sections and some of you from previous updates may have seen this. Um, I'll just get you the other sections, these are the missing front and side sections from it. And this is an Outland model plastic kit of a tower block. So, with this idea, I thought, originally I thought I might be able to take this apart and maybe wrap it round. But that meant damaging the actual product. Um, thus making it not really much use to anywhere else in the layout if I decided to move it. So I thought, well, can't be that hard to possibly replicate that. Um, and that's why the panels are off, because I have been attempting it. And also, you know, that's not as high as that post. I wanted it to go as high as possible, possibly like up to there. So what I've come up with so far is this this is using mount board i'll stand that up and as you can see it is uh, replicating the original design and the front area there but the windows are different now the reason why the windows are different is i wanted to try and replicate a particular tower block that's here in crew and I think I've not done a bad job of it, to be honest. 
So that's the tower block that I've got so far. That's the front. Here will be the foyer area where you enter into the tower block. I'm going to be putting a canopy over the top of that. And on the back, I've not done the back area. Well, I have done the back area, but I've not attached it yet. This is the back area, which same windows again. As you can see, I've, I've not, this as far as I've got, I've not done the grey panelling up the frontage yet. Um, the grey panelling that you see here is actually cut off strips of this. This is um, the Metcalf grey tarmac row sheeting, which I cut into little strips, like so. And then fix them under each window. I think it's given a good effect. Now, as I mentioned, this is um, to hopefully replicate a particular tower block here in my hometown of Crewe. And that particular tower block is named Waverley Court. And here's a Google image of it. And as you can see, that looks rather similar. What do you think? I'll just put some better light on it for you. There we go. So that's what I've created. And that's what I'm attempting to replicate in my own style to fit around that pillar. So, so far, I say I've done that front section. Uh, I've got this back section. I have glazed them. And I've also put this in, this uh, section of tubing inside. Uh, so hopefully, I'll be able to separate each of the floors and put in some form of scenic uh, scenery in the background uh, like wallpaper interiors of the apartments and uh, hopefully um, we'll be able to illuminate some of the individual floors i've yet to do that for this side um, but i do have it already here the box to go in um, so i'll take that over so you can see that so the idea is it will fit on somewhere like that and the rear will go on when I'm happy with its exact position and glued into place so then it will be fixed around the pillar. The plan is to have two of these tower blocks. So there'll be one, that one there, and then there'll be another one, probably about actually the same height as this one, this Outlands block, um, just at the side of it, or maybe here, at the side over here. There's, uh, I'd like to have a bit of a car park area at the front, and that's where the access road will come in here to go it with a bit of grassland and scenics and stuff. So that's the plan to have that as um, a tower block area just outside the main retail park in High Street. And we'll eventually overlook the industrial area. So a nice view for the residents. So that's what I've been up to on there. So I've not been up to much, but pretty much just been um, building that. Now I did mention something else uh, at the beginning, I did mention that um, some uh, proposed track changes to the layout. Now, as you know, uh, I've got platform line, through lines, platform line, platform line, and these two are sidings. Let's just run up to there. Now, they don't, they don't very much get used. It's just pretty much, um, I place stuff on here uh, just to have them on display 
while the layout's in operation. Well, I have been having some issues with that point that's just underneath there. Um, it's not operating very well, and everything seems to well near enough. Everything derails on that particular point. It's not, but it's not wasn't a very good one, and it was a bit of a bad idea, I think, putting that one in there. So my idea is the point will stay, but what I want to do is this line will be trimmed off just probably enough to fit in a loco to about here and then the rest of the line which is not a problem because it is actually dead this line is from here as I did I forget I did forget to fit a dropper to this section and the fish plates failed so I'm not too bothered about this so this line will go okay and for those of you who've been watching the channel for quite some time, you'll remember before I built the high street at the top, um, on that top line, I did have another station up, platform up there. Well, when I took all this it all out and built the high street, I didn't get rid of the platforms. I still have them. And here they are. This one and this one these are the sections that were cut off from the original platforms that are built and i used those next to each other as the platforms for the very top area up there and i thought i'd keep all of them just in case i have an idea and i've now got an idea so if i turn that round because that's the platform edge my idea is to cut this in half and place it up against that line there, thus creating an additional platform for the station. Not sure where, how far up it will go, it probably will reach up to the very end. If I just use this as an example, I'll place that one in there. That would then give me another reasonably long platform for this line, which could then be served as a uh, branch line, heritage line station, that kind of thing. Or DMUs can run into this platform off the main branch line or off the main lines as they come in off there so they'll come in round through there and then into here and finish there that's the that's the idea obviously there's only there's only there's not much of a room i will have to trim these down because i don't want to extend the front top off because i've got this lip on or if i did i could kind of do it but um it would mean overlapping the uh, control panel ever so slightly. Um, I don't think that's the better idea. I think the better idea would be to have these cut straight down. Um, giving the nice straight edge to fit up against here. And then I could put railings all the way along the edge of the platform to seal it off from the public falling off to their deaths. But I do have an issue. As the main platforms do have access from the footbridge over there, which I scratch built together from two Metcalf footbridge kits, this platform that I propose won't have any access for passengers coming from the other platforms or from the station area. Possible ideas are get another Metcalf footbridge, extend it along to here, and then another set of steps coming down. An alternative would be to put subways, portals in, one there, one there, 
and likewise when that one's in there I could have another one here and here because obviously if the subways are on here they would need to have subways on the other platforms now I'm not too much of a fan of that idea because that means cutting out the original platforms that are fixed in um, so I'd like, some ideas would be good uh, I would greatly appreciate some ideas on what people think I do have this footbridge that I acquired from a model show for a pound I think it's a dapple footbridge it's been all sprayed in grey if I could fit that in maybe somewhere or possibly use that as the steps down onto that platform maybe from up here I'm not sure um, all ideas would be gratefully appreciated because I, obviously I, I can't fit that in there because I've got station canopies um, I did think about possibly getting it to fit in here but it would be obstructing the steps at the end so I'm a bit of a bit of an um and an ahhing on that I'm not sure how I'm going to achieve that. I'm thinking that probably the best idea would be to extend that up to here and come down. But saying that, if I plan to keep that line there, coming up to about here, then that foot drop footbridge wouldn't reach it. If I did that, I'd have to do this platform all the way up to under here. So thoughts and ideas please greatly appreciated um oh and i don't plan to put any canopy across this one like those i want to keep this one nice and open um so we can see what's going on on the platform um i may put some lights in it like these street lights but the platform style were the old vintage style ones lamps they might be going in there um We'll just have to wait and see because I, obviously because I've got this in, can't drill all the way through. So I'll have to see how that goes. Something to think about once I've got the platforms in place. So yes, as again, I'll say again, um, ideas and thoughts on what you think, how it could work would be greatly appreciated. Um, would that look better with an extra platform in there, or should I maybe maybe should just just leave the two the sidings in? Tell me your thoughts. So that's about it. I say I've not really done anything here at the layout since the last update, apart from the scratch building. So I'm going to leave it just there now. Look out for lots more new videos coming here from Barnabas Junction. A lot of Meet the Fleets, track cam videos coming soon, how to's. I've got a flood of videos set to be released over the coming weeks. I've just got to uh, edit them all, unfortunately. <laughs> that takes That's the bit that takes the longest. So um, thank you to all subscribers, new and old, for staying with me. Um, fully appreciate all your support oh just one last thing just no remembered something um you may have remembered that those three arches there were all crinkled up i've now managed to uh sort them out so the brick paper is now flat so i'm well happy about that sorry that was something i missed <laughs> so yes thank you very much to everybody new old subscribers fully appreciate it really um enjoy reading your comments. Um, thank you very much for all your views. Um, I look forward to reading any comments you may like to give me. Obviously ideas on that um, the platform for the, uh, and the footbridge down maybe, or how to get across and what you think on that. So I'll leave it like that. I'll see you again very soon. So until next time, Tara from Barnabas Junction. Bye for now. Bye.